Welcome back to Newscast, boys and girls. My name's Brendan, and I'm going to be bringing you the news for Tuesday, August 16th, 2011. Our first story of the day comes from internet giant Google. Google, of course, the company who has made it their mission since their existence to slowly take over the world, has purchased Motorola for $12.5 billion. That is $12.5 million. I really, really, really want to own one of these Fortune 500 companies. And that's because owning a company is actually the way to make money. It's not like being famous or anything. Um, that's a good example. Oh, that guy who owns, uh, oh yeah, 50 Cent, or as he's known in Zimbabwe, $400 million. Fun fact, he's made way more money selling those little super overpriced, like, $4 a bottle vitamin waters than he ever did singing. Maybe that's because he wasn't such a great singer, but who knows? The way that I see Google operates... Basically, they just have enough money to take other people's ideas and just make them way better and more interesting to a wider audience of people. Yahoo search engine? Psh, we can make Google way better than that. Facebook? What? What's a Facebook? We got Google Plus, bitch. iPhone? Uh, actually, that one was a pretty good idea. We should probably steal that one as well, hey? Hmm, you know what we should do? <laughs> we should probably purchase one of the largest cell phone makers on the entire planet, um, completely steal Apple's ideas, and remarket it as our own, and that will totally work, right? That will be the best Android phone around. So, whole point of that story, guys, is um, invest in Google because you'll be making money. Our second story of the day comes from Minnesota, USA. Rhyme. You know those um, basketball games where they have somebody come down at halftime and take a half-court shot for like $50,000 or... In Canada, we have the CFL because we're too hipster, and NFL is way too mainstream for us, but they have like a kick for a million thing, where um, if you kick the ball in from 50 yards out, you get a million dollars. I think one guy actually did it, which is pretty impressive. Anywho, they were having this competition in Minnesota at a celebrity hockey game, where um, a person takes a shot from half, and they have to fit their three-inch puck through a three-and-a-half-inch hole. <laughs> they called this 11-year-old boy down, and um, he actually took the shot and made it, which is incredible. Um, it, look it up because, like, it would be such an insane shot to actually make. Um, he won $50,000. Now, the only problem was, was his name wasn't the one that was written down on the piece of paper. It was actually his twin brothers who was hanging out with friends outside the rink. But it just so happens that the, the child who took the shot actually is really good at hockey. Um, so do you guys think that it's fair that they take $50,000 if he wasn't the one that was actually called down to take the shot? Personally, I think that they should just give him the money because, I mean, like the dad said in an interview that he sent the kid down because, I mean, the chances of him actually making the shot anyway are so low. Um, and these kids, they can't really piss away the money because they're 11. So I would imagine it would go to do something good for them. Like, uh, I think they wanted to put it in college funds and stuff. But it's not like they're going to go out and gamble it all the way or buy narcotics or something with it, right? And our last crazy story of the day, uh, it's kind of crazy, it's just kind of something that pissed me off, um, comes from Texas where like an 11-year-old girl or something became mayor for a day and she renamed a whole bunch of streets after Justin Bieber and what he likes. We all know that Bieber fever is an infectious disease. I just kind of wish that it would finish people off a lot more than it does. And you know, I don't really honestly hate Bieber that much. Um, he's got, I guess he's all right at singing. Um, some more songwriters I hate. Uh, I think before they air one of his songs, they should tie themselves to a chair and listen to it for like three hours and then decide again whether they actually want to let it go out to the general population. So thanks guys, that's it for me today. Um, I'm up to like 30 subscribers and like 200 views and for me that's a pretty big deal. Um, so just keep letting me know why I suck or why I'm good and uh, I really appreciate it guys. Keep watching. Thanks.